What's going on, people? We're trekking to Antelope Canyon. We're taking the long way, though. You know, uh, not like the kayakers who can uh, paddle their way in. We gotta use our Lamborghinis. But let's get some shots going and uh, let's get this party started. A little perspective for everybody here. Nice family enjoying themselves on this beautiful afternoon. This is Antelope Canyon. Look at that water line, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we'll do a little perspective on things. Right over there is where the full pole line ends. And all the way down to the bottom is going to be 130 feet. That is 130 feet from full pool. So a decent amount of water uh, is missing from the reservoir. But with that being said, man, I wish I got to see the lake full. Hopefully I can see it again soon. I try to be optimistic, you, but you never know. Go around the corner to the other bend and take a right hand turn and you're gonna go out to the main channel. And you can either take a left towards the dam or you can go up late by taking a right. Nothing like selfies on the edge of a cliff. Over here at Antelope Point, you can see the launch ramp isn't uh, what we wanted, but with that being said, you know, the kayakers are enjoying it and uh, things of that sort, but we're gonna get you taken care of and we'll get some shots over here today. Let's get to it. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Antelope launch ramp as of June 2nd, 2024. Lake is on the rise. I expect probably to be at the top of the ramp for water level, maybe right by the uh, railroad track um, pavers or whatever those are called. That's what we're probably looking at. But that's a, a guess about that. It's probably about a 15, 20 foot rise. But we'll see. It probably will be touching a launch ramp, but I don't think boaters are going to be able to uh, launch an antelope still this year. We'll see though. See Park Service has done some work, put in some cobbles. I don't know if that was done last year or uh, this year. It definitely looks good, you know, uh, for a while it was just overhanging that concrete. You can see a section broke off on the, on the left. But let's get you the entire ramp. A lot has changed at Antelope Point. They finally got their RV set up. I know it's probably been here actually a couple years now. But uh, right, I used to work here in 2012 and they didn't have any of this stuff. But mind you, I'm getting old. That is almost 14 years ago. Or my math might be off. Sorry, I'm Arizona educated, folks. That's what we got going on here. We got some greens. Wow, some turf. RV setups here. Wow. It's actually looking pretty good, not gonna lie. We are at the point, Antelope Point. Got some boats prepping. They're gonna do that uh, private launch ramp down over by uh, the houseboating area. Dry storage, excuse me. Yeah, that's what we got going on. Lake is still low. They've restricted the cart service access. It used to be pedestrian, but Lake is too low. We'll get a shot of that here shortly. We'll see what's going on down there.
be able to use that by the end of the summer. Down at Antelope Point, at the point, and that is looking good over there. I don't know if you saw that on the ride in, but that is looking actually not bad compared to last year, obviously. Looking real good. They'll be able to use that by the end of the summer. Right up the hill. Yeah, Antelope's not what it used to be anymore. They used to have a whole wakeboarding course over here, but uh, Park Service shut it down due to concerns of electricity to those houseboats. You can still see the old Grinch winch. It'd be cool if they brought it back something like that but i guess the way they built this uh, marina it's not going to happen yeah they have something if you fall in though because this used to be a whole swim platform back in the day but well, looking good over here and a little yacht service over there that's what I'd be rocking. Imagine that in one of these storms that are ha happening out here. Gun it, full throttle, don't stop. Keep going. But I do like the wakeboarding boats. Expensive. You guys who buy those, man, God, you must have, you must have bang. Those are hitting 100 grand, 200 grand sometimes. You can buy a cheapy version of those houseboats over there for that much money. I guess a 1970s houseboat, I don't know. Maybe, maybe less than that, I don't know. Welcome to Antelope. Craving more, try our pizza. It's actually looking pretty busy out here. This is the point. Looking good, this is good. Remember there'd be times in here it'd be so dead, it'd be nothing, just be wiping the same table 20, 30 times. So we got on draft. Summer Ale, Scottsdale AZ Blonde, Twisted Tea on Tap. I didn't know we're in the hood. The fleet of jet skis, sea -Doo's. I think if I remember correctly, like 500 a pot, then gas. You're gonna rent jet skis, folks? Rent them in page. Some companies will tow you directly to the lake. Not trying to give Antelope no business, but that's just the way it is. But if you want convenience, here they are. There it is, right there. Available products, 87, 89, 91. There's diesel too. Okay folks, June 2nd, premium. Seven bucks per gallon. Diesel, 676. Not bad. Well, I guess a little bad. 60, 60 gallons, 418 bucks. What do you think they're doing, premium? There's the antelope fleet. Ready to go for your enjoyment. Come get them, they're here. It's also the AP rentals. Paddle boards. But it seems like the uh, companies in Page are taking all the business from these guys. And an extra half mile to row. Come enjoy dinner at the point. The patio is open. Yeah. That's the winch. Guess we could call her old Rusty now. All right, let's go see what's going on down here at the houseboats. AYS, Antelope Yacht Service. Let's see, we got some Adonias. I think those are being built in Page. I don't know if they're. Uh, Hold on, I got this car driving by. So I'm gonna tell you, they used to have Bravada, which was coming out of Kentucky, if I'm not mistaken. And a man named Dave Taylor started doing these Adonias, and I think they're all done in Page, at least up on the dry storage up top there too. Hopefully someone's in there watching me. I don't even think they let you swim back here anymore either. Taking on some water, huh? I think every one of these that walked by are literally uh, pumping out the bilge. I don't know how houseboats really work. They shouldn't be leaking, though. 
Anybody knows how much a slip costs? Let me know in the comments. I think while we've hitting like two grand. Imagine antelope's a little bit more expensive. Oh yeah, huh? New boats, new boats, new boats. Little story behind this boat. I think this is Nautilus 2. Nautilus 1 sank here at the docks in 2008. It's barely being held up by the uh, lines that are underneath the uh, dock. It held, no, it held that thing up with full of water and full of flat screen TVs and gasoline and oil and yeah, fun stuff. Nautilus. This should be Nautilus 2. I'll try to get to the back, but I don't know if I can see it. Number two, baby. Let's just hope third time's not the charm. This goes on forever. We're gonna make the Antelope Canyon by this time. Okay, okay, there she is. Yes, that's why I walked this far. I'm gonna walk to the end too. Ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. It's a private launch right there. Pay a little bit of money, they'll, uh, they'll launch your boat over here. Looks like they're pulling out, but it's operatable. Antelope Point main launch ramp, the public ramp. Not available, so if you want to launch, this is it. Ooh, back it up. I think those folks just scraped their boat over there. No, not the $200,000 Nautique. Come on. Oh, that was bright. Alrighty, folks. We're going to the very end of the dock here. I'm just going to continue walking. I don't think car service will pick me up over here. They're going to be full of uh, other people. But another Adonia with their bill, John. There you go. Just making observations. I ain't criticizing the boats. There we go. We are at Land's End or the Docks End. Looking up Lake. It's the main channel. Around the bend, go to left, take a right, you're in Navajo Canyon. Keep going further than that, take another right, go up the main channel towards Padre Bay gun site. This one's got names, got parking spots. Look at that big boy. Look at that. You're just jealous because you can't afford one. Yes. I don't know, they've been leaking a lot. Or, uh, excuse me, taking on water. Make good videos with these boats, though. Look at that. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. There we are, guys. Some of you obviously are already know what that is. Quagga mussels, zebra mussels. Yeah, so when they uh, pull up this line, this dock line, they're just crunching them and they're all falling off right here. Well, that's antelope. We're gonna go check out that bad boy over there. We'll see if they put it back in service, I doubt it. Even if it's at the proper level. Oh. Yep. Not as bad as the year before, huh? Not bad at all. It's shine of improvement. If you call that improvement. Car service picked me up going down. I ain't gonna stop on this hill. I'm almost there. Okay, bye.